Greetings and welcome back to Pocket Ants. And happy Thanksgiving Day to you if you celebrate it. And you know what? Even if you don't. A few days ago, the developer of Pocket Ants posted in the, uh, the Discord that there was going to be a mini event. And that mini event is very soon. Very soon, depending on when you're actually watching this video. Maybe it's actually begun already. Anyway, this is a four-day event which is going to allow you to get one of the special creatures that was originally introduced in one of the events. In this case, we're going all the way back to Halloween 2020 and the Ghost Mantis. So why don't we just look at what they posted in Discord and then we can talk about it. Hello, the first special creature mini event is coming to Pocket Ants. Creature event, Ghost Mantis. Now I find the duration kind of interesting here. Duration, November 26th, which of course is Friday, 0000, until November 29th, 2359. I find that interesting because in the past they would always have said November 30th, but when I do these videos, I make it clear that when it gets to that day, the event is over. It seems that maybe somebody there decided clarity was important too, so they've made it so it goes all the way to the minute before the event is done. I wonder, in that last minute, is the event still live? Probably is, but they just wanted to make it clear. Anyway, let's continue. Details. A four-day mini-event where you can get multiple ghost mantises by doing different tasks similar to past events. This is a chance for players who never got the opportunity to get past event creatures and also for those players who wish to fuse and improve their current creatures. Fill up the activity bar to attract a ghost mantis. There is no limit how many times you can. This is a special creature that is obtainable that was obtainable during the Halloween event of 2020. It has boosted stats just like golden creatures. All right. We're just going to keep going through this, and then we'll talk about the whole thing. You will get activity points by doing the following tasks. Defeating the Red Ants Colony. Getting Honeydew from Aphid Farms. Bonus modifier counts. Finding Acorns. Getting Pheromones when attacking in a battle. Attacking Dr. Zanny counts too. And then watching ads. Additionally... You, will, you can fill up your activity bar with gems. For example, filling the activity bar with 200 points will cost 200 gems. Key differences with main events. This event will last only four days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. There is no daily or any limit on how many creatures you can get. Remember, the previous events was a two limit. But there was a good reason for that, of course. There are no daily gifts, no special skins. No spawn timers will be reduced. All right, so what does this all mean? All right, so as they said, this is an opportunity for people who did not get a Ghost Mantis to actually get one. It will be fairly easy to get two of them. That's what I'm going to say right off the bat. If, you, if you're if you free to play, you don't want to spend any gems, or you don't have any gems, maybe you're just starting, you can pretty easily get a, a two of them and hopefully get a good merge on a two-star. Remember, like they said, the special creatures are the equivalent of the golden ones, which means they're actually a star stronger than they are, which means if you were to get two of the Ghost Mantises, properly merge them together to a two-star, it's basically the equivalent of a three-star. So again, if you're starting the game, that's not a bad thing because they also have better stats. So he'll actually be a bit stronger than a regular two-star or three-star, I should say. Um, the important things that they point out that makes this different from normal events. First of all, there is obviously no little thing you're going to be able to activate that's going to guarantee you getting four of the creatures, just like previous events, just like we had with uh, Halloween, for instance. You know, you had your little pumpkin, you upped it, you, you activated it, and it would give you enough activity over the course of two days, if you did it right, to basically get four of the creatures and maybe even get a three star from that. There's nothing like that here. And also they mentioned 
that the uh, spawn timers are not being reduced. Normally during these events, you know, the, um, the red ant colony is usually a really good source of getting this activity. Normally, it would be cut down to once every six hours instead of the normal 12 hours. For instance, I killed one earlier in the day. You can see it's going to be 10 hours and 27 minutes until it respawns. It's going to stay that way during this event, which means you can only do it twice a day. So it, the activity bar is 1,000. If you kill the red ants, you get 200. If you do it twice in a day, you get 400. Now, the other significant way of getting activity is the acorns. The acorns, basically, they always are spawning. But during this event, since it is included, you're going to get extra points, activity points for that. It's usually 25, and I don't see any reason why they would have changed it. So that is an opportunity to get an extra 250, which means that if you don't count anything else, and frankly, I don't count anything else, if you're just going for points, you can get 400 from the red ant colonies and then an extra 250 from the acorns. So 650 a day. So you need to get to 1,000. It's a four-day period. So you probably could easily get two summons if you do what it is you are supposed to do. You have to be diligent about it. Now, in terms of the other things, the aphids... Let's face it, you're not going to go kill the aphids in order to get activity. If you're going to do the aphids, you're going to do the aphids because you want the, the honeydew, right? Because, I mean, you're not getting a significant enough that's going to do the job for you. It's the same thing with the pheromones for doing battles. You're not going to do battles to advance this event. You're going to do battles because you want to do battles for one reason or another, right? Even Dr. Zanny, like they said. That's basically going to be free stuff. But then again, you do have to have the attacks, so you may have to watch videos in order to get the attacks. Which also brings up the videos, which are a one-for-one. One. You'll get one activity for watching one video. So if you want to watch a thousand videos, okay, you can do that. You probably also go crazy doing it, too. So that's why I say that this video, this is basically for new people who want that. Now, I'm not saying that veterans who want to rank up their uh, Ghost Mantis can't use this event too. But let's face it, at that point, you're going for the gems. See, I have, let's go look at him. He's, is he in there? Yes, he is. There's my Ghost Mantis right there. See, I have a three-star Ghost Mantis, right? If I wanted to even have an opportunity to rank him up to four, I would have to get four ghost mantises and then of course it would have to be magic for me to get a three star and then in a, a miracle to get a four star from that right because the thing is there from my experience there does seem to be a reduced chance for getting the uh, merges that you usually do when you're using special creatures in other words from my experience it's harder so getting a four star yeah that's how it's gonna it's gonna be a lot harder there but if somebody was going to try that, they need a minimum of four of them, which means they're going to have to do gems. There's no other way around it. And they're saying if you need 200 points, that you would use 200 gems, which tells me that if you wanted to fill the activity bar, that's a thousand gems. So you're probably talking about two groups here. Like I said, you're talking about the person who just started the game and didn't get a chance to get it. That's fine. Even a two-star Ghost Mantis is pretty strong, depending on how the rest of your team is, right? I believe I did battles, and I'm pretty sure that a two-star Ghost Mantis beat my three-star Scorpion. So, I mean, especially if you're starting off, that's actually not a bad thing to get at all. And you have a better chance at that two-star merge. Even though, as I said, there, I think there is a little bit of extra difficulty there, too. The other people would probably be the high-end individuals who are really looking for the strongest creatures they can get and spare no expense. Now, in terms of me, I'm not going to be participating in this event. I have one spot open. I would have to get four and then get miracles in order to rank mine up to four. 
I don't see a reason for that. I'd also either have to get rid of some of the guys I have up here or buy extra slots. And you can see I'm closing in on the 400 here. Uh, yeah, the butterfly. I went in one day and the butterfly just happened to be there. He was a random spawn. I didn't do anything for him. I didn't do any summons. So I just grabbed him. It's a unique, so I'm not getting rid of it there. So the thing is, that at this point, you really have to impress me with something if you want me to get rid of things. I would really like to get another scorpion. Another scorpion would be very useful to me. Yes, it would. So anyway, um, I'm like I'm saying, if you don't have the creature and you want to get him, and he's pretty strong, he's got good stats, well, let's just take a quick look at that too. Uh, because you can see the stats of your creature. If you're looking at a regular Mantis, that's a regular Mantis, one of the weakest creatures in the game. But if you go over to Special and you look at him, he's he's better. He's definitely better, without question about that. He attacks a lot more, and I believe he's speedier there too. Um, but the thing is, he is very good, and if you are starting out and you want a strong creature, yeah, absolutely. If you want to get two of them, you kill the red ant colonies every 12 hours. Not a big deal right there. You collect all the acorns. You also get a lot of goods there, you know, for the top is green. You're probably doing that already. You probably should be doing that if you're not. And the rest of it, the rest of it, I don't really see as being significant, you know, in terms of like the, um, the pheromones and the uh, watching the videos and the honeydew from the aphids. Those are just small numbers. When you're talking about 200 for killing the red ant holony, and then you're talking about a total of 250 for the acorns, because each one of them is 25 and there's 10 of them. That's significant. That's very significant. The other ones, not really very significant. That's in my opinion, though. Um, but basically, if you really want to get a lot out of this event in terms of like you have a three star like I do, but you want a four star, it's going to be a lot of gems. That's the thing. So it really depends on whether or not you see this event is for you. In my case, it's not for me. Um, in the last event they did, I think it was Valentine's Day, when they had the new Tiger Beetle, but they also put the older creatures in there too. I think that was a very big mistake. And it seems maybe that they understand that too, which is the reason they're doing these mini events to give you access to the older creatures. I think that's a good idea. Because the thing is, the creatures are good, they are strong, they're unique, and getting the opportunity to actually even just get them is a very good thing. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.